4G. This is Daniel from Flatan. We are a starting startup company based on Iceland, dedicated to studying soil erosion risk through remote sensing methods. These are our five time team members. We are soil erosion has become a global degradation threat in recent years. It leads to desertification and loss of biodiversity. And in particular for the Arctic, Arctic regions, it can also lead to the release of organic carbon that has been stored under, under the permafrost for millions of years. And that is one of the foreseen uh, main contributors to climate change in the future. Also, the Arctic comes with the, its own set of challenges because it's a hardly accessible place. It's frequently covered in snow and clouds, so remote sensing becomes difficult. And the methodologies that have proven to be successful in other regions of the world uh, um, cannot be straightforwardly generalized to the Arctic because of its peculiar soils and the fact that the vegetation covers are not a, not a good indicator. The methodology that we are following so far uh, uses an, a support vector machine, SVM classifier. It, we split the data that we have, 80-20, into training and validation sets. Uh, the ground truth data has been provided by Landkreisland, the Soil Conservation Agency of Iceland. So we have um, about um, 10,000 kilometers squared of land for which we have both the classification that has uh, been done by, by this agency. And on the other hand, we have Sentinel-2 images that uh, can be compared and we can train on that. These images, they need to be pre-processed first. They need to be geo-referenced and atmospherically corrected. They, they come in 12 available wavelength bands that, are, that we can combine in order to create indices. And we also need to develop new masks adapted for the Arctic region, uh, such as uh, for things like lichen and permafrost. And we also use digital elevation models in order to take into account the fact that soil erosion happens more quickly in steep slopes. And that really applies for the Arctic uh, very importantly as well. Now with this, uh, the results that we are obtaining, they they show uh, uh, quite a large overall accuracy, so we are very confident on our results. Uh, also, certain features, they can be seen, uh, you can recognize rivers and hilltops, and we can already extract a few conclusions, uh, such as the, the fact that low separability uh, its a common limitation of these methods, and it is being uh, a limitation uh, in our case. So that needs to be addressed and it needs to be improved. We may be able to expand what we are doing in order to cover not only the, the region for which we have uh, the ground truth data, but we can extend it and provide so a soil erosion map for all of Iceland and also taking it taking into account that these methods can be applied that we have yearly data uh, we may be able to provide prediction for the future and so far and in that way indicate which le which areas are uh, need a more specific focus in the future and with that I thank you for your attention